Hey, I'm Matt Newsom. Thanks for joining me in my second video on Domo. Today I'm in Domo's data connectors. Let's see how quickly we can get some data into Domo and build some visualizations on it. I am going to go with the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration data. Uh, unlike a data set like Dropbox or Facebook, uh, we don't have to use any credentials. So, But the similar steps you would use for something like that. Domo is now bringing in, importing this data into our instance of Domo. It's preparing it for us, and we have 6,500 rows of data. This data here, you can kind of get a look at what you have. You maybe want to just see some some stats quickly of whatever you have uh, data that you that you brought into your data set. But for us, we just see that it's a, a lot of text and numbers, and really just the old boring spreadsheets that you've probably already seen on your desk uh, multiple times this week. So we have a comma in model year here. Let's take it out. Create new data flow, magic ETL, which is great for folks that don't know SQL. And you think I don't know where to click. So we're gonna do select column type here and we're gonna change that year that's a whole number to a text so that it removes that comma. And we're gonna say, Matt did demo. Just name it something crazy. And we're gonna hit run. And now that column is going to be a text versus a number. Here we see uh, some different settings for the data flow as it's running. You have a history here. You can see the different versions of your data flow. If you wanted to revert back to one, you could easily do it here. So it ran 11 seconds. Let's go to this output data set that we just created and build a card, which is a visualization. So we're gonna hit add card. Domo is going to auto uh, preview and kind of guess at what we th it thinks we want with this data. It's going to use a number rollover possibility. I want to do a pie chart and I don't want to do model year. I want to do makes. Let's slide that over here and I want to do recall counts. I'm just going to do the sum of recall counts for each make. I don't need that summary number here. So let's get that out of there. And you know what, let's only do this, um, do we have a date? Model year, let's go ahead and filter out model year. Let's just make a uh, model year for just 2018, 2019 for us. This is just a demo, so we'll just quickly do that. And you can see the different makes and models that have been, uh, that have a recall uh, available to it. And then you could quickly see, if you wanted to not see Volkswagen or not see Jeep, you could clear those out in your pie adjust. If you want to see what was in the other, you could quickly click on it and then you could scroll down and pull this data. If you wanted to export this data, you could click over here and click share and boom, you could get a option to uh, send or export, which gives you the option for Excel or CSV. So you've seen me quickly bring in Domo, our data from a public source, uh, make a slight ETL change and create a visualization on it. I hope that helps you. Thanks a lot. Take care.